this is an interesting one that we are going to talk on and it's the dark mode so we have been seeing that google chrome is not releasing its official dark mode for the google chrome web browser so we're going to see a nice little trick in google developer mode in which we can turn on the dark mode in the google chrome so let's get started so the first thing we need to do is go to google chrome so let's go to google chrome and in the url you will have to search for chrome colon slash slash flex so once you have typed it it will redirect us to the chrome's experiment page and in this search bar we'll have to type for dark and here you'll see a forced dark mode for web contents and in the drop down here you will have to just select for enable and that's it so now let's go to relaunch to see the changes that we have made so far so let's click on it and here we can see we are getting a total dark mode of our google chrome and whatever we will open here and you will also see that we get it in a dark mode so my internet connectivity a bit is a bit slow so we'll see that here but now we'll go for the panel downloading option you know when you go for multiple file downloads we face a problem in uh, speed factor so to overcome that problem we have a option called uh, parallel downloading in the chrome's experimental feature so let's enable it so it's parallel so we got it here are the parallel download options and here we'll have to select on this drop down and you'll have to just click on enable so to see the changes we have made we'll go for relaunch but before that let me show you the dark mode we have enabled here so as you can see we have enabled the dark mode successfully so now let's relaunch this and we'll see you can also see when you go for multiple file downloads you will have a greater speed than before so with this done now the next thing is of the insecure origins now let me tell you what is insecure origin suppose we browse for any website suppose i go for get into pc sometimes it shows us for insecure sometimes it shows us secure but if you find a site which is showing you insecure and you are in regular use of it you know that it is not insecure though google recommends it as insecure so you can personalize that website according to you to being secure so that you don't get prompted every time you go to that website so in order to start that we have to similarly go to the experiment page of google and here we'll have to search for insecure origins and here we get it insecure origins treated as secure now let me tell you how you'll have to use the settings so first you have to go to enable it then let's say you want to add a website that is uh, recommended by google as insecure but you want to show it as secure so let's add a website like this http colon colon github dot io slash nickel zero double zero seven and you can just add it here that's it and if you want to add multiple urls like this you can use a help of comma and you can you know rewrite another one like get into pc.com slash like so and that's it so the next thing we are going to do is that analyzing our downloaded files so some of the files that we download from internet are safe some are detected by google but to enable more advanced feature of it we can use one of the feature like treat risky downloads okay so that thing we can find it here so like so we'll have to type here treat risky downloads and like so we have found this and the thing that it will do is that it will scan the insecure connections and will disallow the downloads of the unsafe files and it will make our system more secure so the next thing to enable it is that you have to go to the drop down and hit enable i have already enabled it as you can see and to make your changes effect take effect so you can click on relaunch this is one of the great feature that i found in google chrome experimental feature that is lazy loading of pages uh, let me explain you what it means so lazy loading refers is that whenever i load this page until i reach a portion of this page this image will not be loaded that is what it says so you may call this a feature for data saving or uh, stop the ads from uh, running in the background 
until you need or you reach that portion of the page so let's dig into that feature so for that we'll have to go to the experiment page as we already did so here in the search bar we'll have to search for you know it's enable lazy loading okay now we found this one and we'll have to just click here enable as i have did and after you re relaunch here you will find this feature enabled in your chrome browser now it's time for live captions it may not be useful for most of you but i think it will be useful because uh, whenever we stream videos from uh, sites apart from youtube we do not find live captions often everywhere okay so to enable that we'll have to search here that is live captions like so and we found that here as you can see it is a live caption option and uh, to enable it you'll have to just click on enable like so and that's it now this is the most coolest feature that i have found on the google experiment page okay so this is about blocking your heavy interventions of ads you know some of the pages have a lot of ads like this these are not heavy but you can find some of the ads like uh, having video in them and running in the background which may take a lot of resources so to avoid that google provides us a great feature that is uh, heavy intervention features so let's enable that to disable our ads so we'll have to type in the search bar like heavy interventions i think it's heavy ad interventions yeah so it's a heavy ad interventions and as you can see this is the thing we are searching for and to enable it similarly as we have done in the previous ones you will have to just click on it and hit enable that's it and finally i'm going to relaunch this and uh, find all my features enabled in my google chrome so as you can see i have already reloaded or relaunched my website and i have all my features enabled in it so as you can see here like i have here the dark mode enabled and when you will also go for downloading files you will also find your speed and you can also block your ads so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video